Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Aries in mid-April 2021. What is going on, Aries? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Aries, for the last time this year, happy birthday, guys. Um, we're at the very tail end of your birthday season, so whenever your day is or was, uh, I hope that you have an amazing day or have or had an amazing day uh, with your friends, your family, loved ones, uh, even if you were solo celebrating yourselves. I hope it was great, okay? Um, Aries, if you need all of your uh, messages that you saw had for this season for you guys, check your playlist. Um, the lives don't go in your playlist. You have to go th like, through the channel view to find your Aries live that I did. Um, I think it was like two weeks ago at this time. Um, so if you want to find those uh, readings, just look around the channel and you'll find them, okay? And a quick apology here. Um, this is supposed to be a mid-April reading. Uh, I usually try to get the, uh, these messages out around the 15th of every month. Um, and as you can see, this is not April 15th that you're seeing this. Uh, so uh, I took a new job, Aries, last, uh, last week, so I didn't have much time uh, or energy to really put in for this, uh, to do the tarot for you guys. But, you know, I rested a little bit over the weekend, and now I've got a little bit more of a handle on what I'm doing in the new job. So here we are few days later please forgive me <laughs> anyway let's get into it guys uh, anything you want it's in the description box down below if you want to reach out to me for a personal reading you can find out how to do so in the description box below and of course if you want to follow me on Instagram guess what there's a link for it in the description box below all right let's see what your messages are let's get some messages for Aries here in mid-April 2021 Mid-April 2021, what is going on for Aries? Show me the messages, please. Thank you. All right. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yikes. Maybe not a yikes, but let's see. Okay, Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Um. So I feel... Some of you are going to be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> I feel, Aries, some of you wanted something that was fun and exciting, or you do right now, and it, or it's someone else you're dealing with. Ace of Wands in reverse. Wanting something new, exciting, fresh, invigorating, possibly sexual or sexy uh, to unfold. And I don't think that's really happening. I think that type of expectation or emphasis is unavailable to you um nine of wands we try very hard in this enter with, with this tarot card it's it's a lot of effort it's a lot of willpower and dedication given to a task given to a job or an endeavor something that we're committed to can also be a relationship or a commitment that you make to yourself something like that and it's due diligence college try very commendable but it's also taxing it's exhausting it's possibly unsustainable yes so some of you may have been partying hard i mean i just you know wish you guys a happy birthday in the opening so maybe you spent several days or months really going hard celebrating your solo return enjoying your life great that's not sustainable right i mean Unless I guess you live like a playboy, playgirl kind of lifestyle, maybe you could do that. But for most humans on earth, that's not really possible to sustain that for a long period of time. So for some of you, this is like a, a reality check, this combination, these two cards here. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, crash landing to earth after riding high in a celebratory fashion. It could have been you were working hard at something, trying to get something off the ground and it fizzled out and then the opportunity slipped through your fingers. So it could be disappointing, uh, could be a crash land, could be the natural end to something that you were doing or committed to, right? So if it was a job, if it was a relationship, if it was a personal development task or, or goal that you set for yourself, I wanna lose 20 pounds before my uh, birthday, being that you know maybe you were born in April uh, or March, it doesn't matter, and maybe January 1st this year, you're like, I'm gonna knock this COVID-20 right on off of my body 
because I refuse, right? So you spent the last three to four months working out, getting back in shape, being back on your diet, and maybe you hit your goal. And maybe it was really, really hard to do that, but you did it. You know what I mean? So for some, the ace of wands in reverse isn't necessarily the opportunity is missed. It can be the opportunity is fulfilled. Does that make sense? Um, ace of pentacles. So for some of you now, <laughs> ah, it could be that. It could be you shift away from the exciting, impassioned start of something or, you know, you were so revved up and focused on something that now you kind of ease into like a upkeep management phase or, or, or mindset, I should say. Yeah. So before where you had to, I'm, I'm going to use several, you know, examples. So whatever fits or is relative to you, take it. If it doesn't fit, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. But let's say this was about your physical health, right? Um, and let's say you were counting calories or you were on some type of diet plan and everything like that. And for the first few weeks or even months, it was hard to maintain that. Again, there is some type of struggle here with the nine of wands. Um, now that you've been doing it for a while, it's kind of like, you know, protocol. It's kind of like the norm. Yes. So it becomes an ace of pentacles. It's more solid. It's more, uh, predictable and stable. Yes. It's, it's definitely more tangible or real in your life. Yes. Ace of wands can be sometimes be not fantasy, but like, again, like a spark. It's a short lived burst of energy or, 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 uh, excitement about something or, uh, you know, like, you know how, when we start a new thing or we're interested in a new person or we're interested in a new hobby, we're all about it. It's all we think about. It's all we dream about. It's all we focus our energy on. Yes. Now it's shifted into not that you don't focus on it or that you've forgotten about it, or you're not interested in this person or, or such a uh, new endeavor or anything. It's just now it's sort of run in the mill or it has the potential to move into that energy. Okay. And if it's not the same thing, the same person, the same scenario, it's a new scenario and you're much more level headed or practical and grounded in your approach. Or this is an offer that's coming to you. If this was about relationships, just as an example, again, uh, it doesn't have to be your story, but if this was an example where you were dating, you might have had a, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am over here. And it may have been very lusty, very sensual, very sexual, but that's not long term. And maybe you or they want no long term. Here's the potential for long term in the Ace of Pentacles, right? So it could be the same person. Maybe you're out of that honeymoon infatuation phase and now you're in the, all right, let's be real. Let's, what are the practical things that we align on in order to build a future together, right? Or you've traded someone who was a wham, bam, thank you, or you traded that status yourself and now you're becoming more stable, more solid. Does that make sense? Hmm. What else is going on? Oh, didn't finish my statement, so I'm not even going to take that. <laughs> what else can you tell me for Aries regarding this situation, please? What else is going on in this situation for Aries? Please show me the additional messages for Aries, please. The Knight of Wands for some of you is like a real disappointment because Aries doesn't like to work hard for nothing. <laughs> And I feel some of you are looking at it. I didn't even know that flipped over. Um, some of you are looking at it as if you did all this effort for nothing. Or you went through all that trouble for nothing. Like some of you are in that headspace. I did all that for nothing? Yeah, maybe. It's life, buddy. And no offense, I'm not trying to downplay your situation because I don't know the details. Ha! This was popping out in your pre-shuffle. Interesting. Okay, so first card out was, okay, Six of Swords. Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. Okay, so that could have been very important. That could have been a transition, that little speech I was just giving there about I did all this for nothing. Could be. Now, in some of your cases, this is a relationship, you know, relationship in terms of dating, friendship, you know, even family a little bit, but I feel mostly dating or friendship or business let's say that family's like in the last uh, the last uh, energy marker that I can feel um, but for some of you this is like <sighs> 
someone has either you or they Aries has a better opportunity elsewhere or this is the person coming to you with that solid offer so it's gonna go one of two ways either you or someone is leaving for a better opportunity or someone or you is coming into someone's life arriving for a better opportunity make sense hopefully that makes sense um, they could also be happening simultaneously so don't what is that phrase don't count your chickens before they hatch hatch because because again I feel some of you are like oh man I missed out on something really great maybe you didn't maybe that wham bam thank you ma'am who you know was knocking you in the in the good way knocking you in all the right places in the bedroom right maybe that person wasn't going to be your long-term you know, honey, sweetie, boo-boo, husband, wife thing, you know? Maybe there's someone else c coming into your life or in your vicinity now who is better suited for that long-term ace of pentacles, strong, stable, firm, dependable opportunity. And some of you Aries are like, but the sex, Jay, I understand. I know. Okay. <laughs> but so six of swords, seven of cups, three of wands, opportunity, seeking opportunity, seeking choices, seeking to make the right decision. And then three of wands being prepared to put in mm, work, being prepared to like, what's this explore? Conquer is the word. I don't, I don't, I don't really necessarily like conquer, but this is, you know, this three of wands is coming across as like capable whatever problems whatever you know sideball um unexpected trouble it's like knowing despite the odds despite any type of adversity or challenge having confidence that either i'm gonna put in 150 percent i'm gonna show up with confidence and or it's already kind of like mine anyway it's a little cocky but that's okay you know fire sign energy i get you so you or someone else is in that mindset of something better suits me elsewhere or something better suited for me is coming in very simple um i like it i like it a lot I mean, I think, again, Aries, because you might be coming from a very fired up, impulsive, uh, sort of instant, I don't want to say instant gratification, because it's not instant, because this Nine of Wands is like, I've put in my effort, Jay, I have been very focused and dedicated to this thing, to this person, to this journey, whatever it is, and the what you expected to formulate, what you expected to uh, get out of it is not really showing up, but it feels like something better is very close right behind it. Like, it's almost like a passing of the baton or some type of turning of the page, something like that. And, and okay, th maybe think of it that way and then we'll, we'll move on and get you uh, a bit of advice because this is a pretty cut and dry reading for me. Um, think of it like reading a book, right? Or a cliffhanger on a TV show or anything like that. You read to the end of the chapter and it's like, oh man, my favorite character just died. Something like that. Really dramatic, right? You're really disappointed because this book, like that character was like making the story for you. You're like, oh my God, I love them. There's blah, 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 whatever. You read to the end of chapter four, let's say. You read two more chapters and it's just like the story's not that interesting to you. Nine of, nine of Wands energy. You're no longer caring about what's developing. That one character who never shuts up, you hate them, blah, blah, blah. And you read two or three chapters past chapter four. And then all of a sudden, the person or, or the character that, the, that you thought was dead is back again. Or they introduce a new character or a new storyline or something, a, a plot twist that has you reinvested in the story again. Does, does that make sense? It's like you want to chuck the book out the window because you have to go through two, three chapters of blah before the story picks up again. 
you know, and that kind of is the design of stories. I don't know if you guys, well, I assume most of you have not studied uh, story arcs before. That's kind of, you know, the way it is. It's like a, well, I can't, I'm not going to get into it, but that's a natural design of a story. And that's kind of what I think the vibe is here. A little bit of a disappointment because something isn't going the way you expected. Something or a person or a situation might leave your life or is no longer available to you. And that was the thing you had your heart set on. But then, right, almost, almost immediately or very soon thereafter, you get something better. You And it's a surprise, you know? What's the advice here for Aries, please? What's the advice for Aries in this situation? Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Ten of Cups. Very cool. All right. <laughs> and at the bottom, Nine of Cups. Okay, so that's twice. Two times you're being told it's going to work out or something favorable is in the making, in the works, cooking in the oven, you know, percolating in the percolator, whatever. I feel 10 of cups, if you've got something of emotional value that brings you contentment and happiness and joy, focus on that. Focus on those people. If you are if you had your heart set on Mr. Wan Mr. or Mrs. Well, I hope she's a Ms. and not a Mrs. <laughs> but anyway, if you had your heart set on a Mr. or a Ms. Uh, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, giving you this Ten of Cups, that's okay. Erase their name. Erase them from this pictorial and leave a vacant spot for someone new. And in the meantime, focus on your friends and your family and other people that you love and care about. In the meantime, while this person is 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 set to arrive in your in your life yes um again it feels and you know i'm not i'm not very good at all telling time with tarot but the feeling i get here is almost instantly or or a better way to rephrase it is when you least expect it yeah when you least expect it uh ten of cups also now in an interesting, not twist, but like I said, for some of you, it's you leave and you go and you are the new arrival in somebody else's situation. So for some of you, you are leaving a Ten of Cups situation. All right. Could be a long standing commitment or marriage or family dynamic and you leave it. I, mean, I don't know why you have done or will do, but that feels to be the thing. It's okay, is, is kind of what they're making me, uh, or, or giving me the sense of. It's okay. It might suck for you on a daily basis. There are things about it that are incredibly painful. If you've got kids, I'm sure they're going through it. Uh, people are going through it. But in the long run, this is a, this is a long setup for something more prosperous, is, is what they're wanting me to tell you. So if you're the person who's leaving or being forced to leave, in some of your cases, you might be forced to leave. Um, it's okay, is what they want me to say. In the long run, it's going to be okay. All right? Aries, that's your reading for mid-April. If you like this reading, if it resonated with you, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how it resonated in your life. I love to read your guys' comments. It brings me so much joy. <laughs> um, and also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel before, please consider subscribing, hitting the red button down below or wherever it is on your device. And make sure you hit all notifications so you can see when I upload to the channel and when I go live on the channel, okay? Aries, if you want to get at me for a personal reading, you can find that information down below in the description box, okay? Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care.